Hello guys and welcome back. So I'm recording this video like around eight hours after I uploaded the my my first video. So I have been playing for a whole day pretty much. I just did, did a couple of short breaks, but yeah, pretty much I have been playing for a whole day. So I finished the the campaign. I finished it second because I stayed up till till six a.m. And then I went to sleep, so yeah, I finished it after I woke up. So, yeah. Um, what team did I use? Well, I did use a little bit of pay to win team. So, yeah, let's see. So, uh, Asinda, Runai, Moxie, Lydia, and Mamu. But keep in mind, I did not use. Uh, Asinda, I used Liz first try when I did it, so it was it was Liz instead of Asinda. Uh, team is pretty much straightforward, but yeah, let's let's showcase it, it for you guys. So here we're gonna start always with Lydia's first stack skill. We ignore it. We don't use anything, and we also don't use anything. Here I'm gonna use ultimate. Then we're gonna focus Dario first because he gets the, the passive stacks. When someone dies, then he's gonna deal a lot of damage. So we killed him first. Then we're gonna focus him. Perfect. Uh, that's first first wave done. Here, same thing. We do. We're not gonna do anything. So you don't pretty much need anyone here. It's just a Moxie show. So let's do that. And 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 now we just gonna one shot everything. All right, here, here we will not start with Lydia's first attack. We're gonna start it with Lydia's ultimate because this way we get some damage reduction. Uh, we're gonna put speed up on us. Then we're gonna reduce. Bosses turn it, then we're gonna reduce it yet again. Uh, then we're gonna reduce it again. Uh, here, just like that. Here, I'm gonna use ultimate. So now everyone died pretty much, but that should still be fine. Mm, a little bit of healing. Alright. That he died. Now we're gonna. He got the defense down. Alright, we're gonna use ultimate. We're gonna do this. And it's done. So, yeah, pretty much all you need is Moxie. Like as you saw, I didn't use any hero through the waves. Just just Moxie. Uh, Asindo can be good to silence waves, so they don't deal any damage to you. Or rather, just use basic attack. Mamok is there to taunt and provide uh, speed up, but you could use any other sh tank like shield, like Liz, or any other shielder. Lydia, there is just like protection and some buffs but you can use another healer there so yeah um now obviously i still need to three star everything which will take a while uh, my box looks so i've been unlucky with yoko and 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 vera alahan i don't complain about because he got the uh, 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 the shield removal, which I gonna need in Tower of Mark, so I'm happy that I got him. Um, I got uh, Elsa, she's gonna be a solid uh, shielder and healer in my Tower of Mark. And yeah, I pulled another Moxie, so like I had her at E1, then I pulled another copy. And then last hero that I pulled was Jenny, and 
she okay. seems she seems pretty nice. She's a, 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 a damage dealer, so I need a solid damage dealer, crit damage. So yeah, I'm gonna build her in my cleave team. So yeah, when it comes to epics, like this hero is pretty good. Uh, so she got she has the. Uh, not the here yes here so she gets shield when once she's e3 it's 35 uh, percent of her max hp uh, and also uh, she can't crit but when battle starts increase the curse's shield effect by 0 0.21 percent of her crit rate so you build her with crit rate but then she's gonna have more shielding and then when Gertrude survives, increasing all allies' shield effect by 12%. Uh, you can ignore that last part. And here, a little bit of damage, and here, and here also reduces trimeter. So, yeah. Also, other pretty good is you get shield here. And then also increases the defense up on first two waves for 60% so it's also can come in handy so you have you have a lot of good heroes good epic heroes that you can start with so yeah um, I did create a guild on uh, server 117 it's called snakes you can join like power power is uh let's see what i said to power at uh, so uh, let's put it at 200k so we are currently the strongest guild or rather we have the most the most so we got uh, this guy which got pretty insane heroes on day one so he's from snakes He's also from snakes. Bloom is also from snakes. So we have like in top five, we got four players that are from snake skills. So if on some competition, we're gonna be, we are looking forward to the guild arena that starts on Monday. So yeah, if you guys wanna join, just uh, apply or DM me on Discord and we will see. Uh, other than that, I did a little bit of uh, I push Tower of Mark as further as possible. Here I need single DPS target, which is him. But yeah, I don't know. I will see, uh, or or I will wait till I get something better. Uh, so green. Here I got Hezonja. So. This will be easy. Of obviously, here I can't use Hezonja because he's AOE. But yeah, this should be pretty easy mark to to complete. Blue mark will also be the <laughs> easy one to complete because I have Moxie, Runai to heal support, deal damage and support, heal and support. So blue mark will be the easy one. Uh, red one. So we got to CC waves to do a little bit of damage. So yeah, red one and and uh, force mark will be the hardest one. But I don't care that much about those because my main heroes are from a blue mark. So I'm gonna focus on blue mark for now. Um, when it comes to dungeons, I pushed Ram to 20. Let's try 21. Let's try 21. I haven't tried it yet, so... Um, I, th I think I can put it on auto. Uh, so here, here the, the most important thing is that either that Nasahma is faster than me, because he can't steal my shields if he goes first because I don't have any, any shields or any buffs on. So yeah. Uh, then we're gonna focus him first, then we're gonna get rid of her. 
him here. Let's reduce his trimeter. I can't. But I mean, I can put speed up on them though, so it does not really matter that much. And here, I'm gonna use ultimate, and that's pretty much it. And also, the, the good thing about Mamuk is that he has attack down a big version, which is 40% on his basic attack. So Mamuk is a really... Oh, nice. So Mamuk is a really good pull on first day of the server. Uh, when it comes to PvP, I can't deal with Erato, so we are skipping Erato teams. And pretty much everyth everything else I can deal with. Oh, I and I can't deal with E1 Ascindo yet, so I'm gonna avoid until my Ascindo is E1. Uh, but like teams like this, <laughs> so here I'm using those five. Uh, I will most likely re re replace Mamuk with 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 space when I get space, I assume. But the theory here is how my team works is. Uh, here I'm gonna increase attack on everyone. Mostly goes first, but it does not really matter. So here then I'm gonna reduce turn meter. Obviously I can't do it on Alexin. And then I'm gonna silence them. Uh, so now everyone is silenced, and now Moxie will just one shot them, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, yeah. As I said, I just avoiding uh, Rato teams for now until I find a way how to deal with her. Uh, here, uh, this one should be also an easy fight. He goes further. He does not have damage, and then Moxie just one shot, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, my first, so, oh this guy got the new limited already, alright, uh, so what I want to say is uh, my first legendary I will go into Ascindo obviously, so I'll make Ascindo E1, and then I'm gonna focus to E3 Renai because I want her E3 badly. So yeah, that's the plan, other than that, I did little bit of, of farming, as I said, I've, I pushed Neja to 16, Groden to 15, and Marius to 16. And yeah, now I'm gonna deal with uh, Space Temples, which will <laughs> cost me a lot of time, but yeah, I, I have to do it, so yeah. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.